YouTube welcome back to my channel today I have a video comparing my size 14 Aliexpress dupe panda brush and then I also have the actual panda brush that I purchased from Amazon in a size 14 I will link both of them down below here I just took the one from Aliexpress packaging out first just to show you guys what it looked like and then I'm just going to dive into the panna one. First impression, I will say they are very, very similar, but the panna is a little heavier in weight as far as holding it. And for both of them to be a size 14, the panna does have a little few more bristles than the um, AliExpress one. But first impressions, I am like pretty stoked because it is a great dupe just by looking at it, feeling it, and you see I'm, I'm like picking it up so that I can see the weight of it. I do show you guys a close-up right here of what they actually look like. Panna is just a brand. Um, they get their brushes manufactured. Where, I don't know. But this brush here that is from AliExpress is like spot on. I'm not saying it's the same manufacturing company, but there are you know, a lot of similarities looking at the brush. So here I'm just dipping the brush into some of my monomer that I have and the, the brush does come with like some gel residue if you purchased the acrylic brush in the past then you know that it comes with like some glue residue to keep its shape I'm going to just dropping it inside the monomer to get that off of there I'm sorry I'm stuttering every time I do a voiceover I cannot talk but anyway that's neither here nor there so yeah I'm just going in and taking that off just to loosen up the bristles so that I can go in and play with it a little bit and mold it into the shape that um, I want. Neither one of these brushes came pinched, so you guys will see me pinch the brush. Here, I like I said, I'm just playing with it just to see um, what it looked like once I have it feathered out and what it could possibly look like once I pinch the brush. I believe I start out with the Panna brush first, so I just go in and do the same thing. Um, pinching the brush down and getting the monomer out of it getting the liquid out as much as I can and just seeing the shape of the bristles I do notice that the panna brush um, the edges of the brush need some tapering so I do go in with a straight edge nail clipper and you'll just see me go in and lightly clip around the edge part of the nail just so that I can um, here I'm just showing you guys how flat it looks I'm just going in with the straight edge clipper just to clip it down slightly. When you do this, be careful. You know, less is more. You don't need to take a lot of this off. Um, I do notice that it makes a huge difference when you get your brush and you go in and clip the edge of it with a straight edge clip. It shows a huge difference when you're applying your acrylic around the cuticle area. So I do like to go in when I get a new brush and do this. When I first started out on my nail journey, I didn't even know this existed. I watched a couple videos and you know in the last year and I saw people do this and I was like you know what when I get a new brush I'm gonna try it and sure enough it works there's a huge difference so I definitely recommend you go in and take off some of that little free edge there so that you have a smoother application around the cuticle so this is what it looks like I'm pretty satisfied and so now I'm going to go in and pinch the brush I have some um, I don't know what these are called these are my husband tools some grippers um, I tried to use needle nose pliers before and it was not a good look, but it's really easy. Just go in and pinch it slightly like you just saw me do right over top of where the bristles begin. And, you know, I pinch down and then it's fine. As you can see, the panna brush is done. It's chilling to the side. I now go in with the AliExpress. Blah, blah, blah. I go in now with the AliExpress brush and I am clipping down the free edge I do want this brush to be a little bit more on the rounder side um, so I'm just going in and custom making these you know the brush more round than what it is actually more round than with the panna brush because if you notice on the panna brush it's like a straight line across in here I made this round I think this is gorgeous so I like that and I'm going in and just doing the same exact thing pinching the brush so that I have you know a better application let me know if you use your acrylic brush without pinching it um when I first started out doing nails I didn't even know pinching my brush was a thing and I went in and start using a brush that I got right away I did notice I had no control over which way the bristles went so I believe pinching your brush is the way to go but here like I said I'm just showing you guys what it looked like 
and here I'm going in with the pan and brush I'm sorry I don't know where the footage is I wanted to do like a little demo just to show you guys how well they both work trust me I wouldn't lie to you the one from Aliexpress worked just as well as the pan and brush the only difference was the weight of the brush in my hand the pan up brush uh, is a little bit more heavier um, and that is not because of the bristles the handle is actually made a little more heavier um but you do notice a difference as far as picking up the bead i was able to pick up more with the panna brush because there are more bristles inside of that brush versus the other one so here's just a close-up i'm showing you the application on both of the swatch sticks is perfect and here i'm just showing you a close-up of what the brushes look like you do notice a difference but it's not a big difference i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and most importantly subscribe